Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome to All Things Burn. I appreciate you clicking on this video and checking this channel out. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so much for coming back by and checking out this video. I hope you all are doing well. I hope your families are doing well. And I hope you're living your best blessed life, you all. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful day. It has been kind of gloomy here in Orlando ever since Easter. Easter was a real shocker, y'all. Like I was telling y'all, when I walked outside, I was cold. It was in the high 60s, but I don't think we've gotten into the 80s at all this week. At all so far. So we shall see as the week goes on, y'all. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I have a large Dollar Tree haul for you all. <laughs> so I have a lot of food items, y'all. And I've had these items for probably about a week now because your girl has been busy. We have to do a major project in our house this weekend, y'all. The air conditioner, where the filter is in the main dining room, um, backed up like something got stuck on the outside. Um, I don't know what, what you call that thing where the water's supposed to go out. But anyway, something must have got caught up in there and the water backed up into the house. It ruined all of my wood floors, you guys. So we have to replace all the floors in the house this weekend. So we went to go uh, talk to the people that we're using which they also did our kitchen as well. They did new cabinets, new granite countertops, and all kinds of stuff. They did a really excellent job. So we decided to use them again. So yeah, y'all, so I'm filming this today. Today's Wednesday. Not sure when you all will see this. Today's Wednesday the 12th. So I'm not sure when you all will see this. Um, it'll probably be like around maybe Friday, Saturday, something like that. Because I won't be recording at all this weekend, y'all. We have to move furniture from one room to the next one. I won't be moving no furniture. But my husband, my son, my son-in-law, possibly my son-in-law. Um, yeah, y'all. It is going to be a job. But the floors are gorgeous. So I can't wait to get that done. But so much for that. And you guys, I want to tell y'all thank you oh my god i just posted a just a little short post on my community tab like i said today's wednesday april 12th um you've probably already seen it if not go check it out i was just thanking you all for your love your support towards this channel i can't believe i'm at 2000 and i think it was at 2036 subscribers the last time i checked which was right before I came on to um, record. Y'all, my mind is blown how fast this is happening. I wasn't even expecting to hardly get to a thousand. Well, I was hoping, but I wasn't expecting it. So, oh my God, I'm just amazed y'all. I am amazed. But I could not have done it without you all. So I just want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate y'all. I really, really do. So with that being said, we are going to jump in to this Dollar Tree haul. But you all, I went to my post office box and I got a letter. Um, I'm going to cover... It's from Frida, and I believe she was one of the winners for the um, one, the 700 and the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which I combined the two. So, um, let's see if I can do this right. She sent me a card today. It just says, all things burn, and then my post office box. So, I'm going to open it on camera. 
if it's too personal, I won't read it, but. Um, oh, the card is beautiful. It just says, thank you. Like I said, she was one of the winners. And let's see. Oh, it just says, hello, all things burn. I received my card, which was her gift card today. Um, thank you. And her name, Tracy. Her name was Tracy on, on the, um, in the comments, but well, you're welcome, Tracy. I'm so glad you got it. It was my pleasure to give you that card. So thank you so much. Beautiful card. Thank you so much. So I'm happy she got her card, you all. I'm so happy she got her card. And we are going to jump into this Dollar Tree haul. I must get some more. I'm drinking water today, y'all. Good old water. And for some reason, y'all, I am burning up, y'all. I have my ceiling fan on high, and I still feel like I'm so hot, y'all. But like I said, people of my age already understand. <laughs> we can get hot like that, y'all. Like, like that. Okay, let's get into it. Let me just jump into this one right here. I've already picked up some more um, of that flow water. Yes, please. So this is really, really good water. It's alkaline spring water. 100% uh, naturally alkaline spring water. So I picked up another two, I want to say bottles, but it's not a bottle, it's like containers. So yeah, I picked that up. I picked up some more blue stuff, as my husband calls it, but it's the Lysol Power Clinging Gel. Um, because I just picked up one in my previous hauls. I think it was two hauls ago. So I just got another one because we like to have two, but I have found one at one store and one at another store. So that's why I didn't pick them up together. So this cleans your tiles. If you have tiles in your bathroom or tiles on your floor and the grout is getting dirty, use this. You will be shocked at how well it works so we got another one of those i'm gonna try to go through this pretty quick because i need to film another haul after this one which is going to be my timu haul y'all i'm so excited y'all when i woke up this morning after i did my devotional um like i do devotion read my word pray sing all, all that kind of stuff after I did that, y'all, I was like, oh, I'm so excited to get into my Timu box. <laughs> so, y'all, after this one, I will be recording my Timu box that has 89 items. I will not record all 89 items, y'all. I'm going to try to do like maybe 30. Maybe I could break it up into 30, 30, and 29. No, that's, that's not right. Yeah, yeah. 30, 30, and 29. That's 89. Yeah. So hopefully 30, 30, and 29. So maybe only three videos, not four. Thank you, Lord. So yeah, y'all. So look forward to that one. Ooh. And I just put up my Timu haul that I got after that box. But because it only had 10 items, I said, let me go ahead and record that one. Y'all, those sneakers... If you can get your hands on them and you like the way they look, pick them up. I don't think they're $19.99 anymore. I think they're like $18 and change. But if you're a new user, you can save 30% off. But we're not talking about Timu right now. We're not talking about Timu. But I will put that code in my description box below. So let's get back to this Dollar Tree haul. Um, I saw these pretzels in there. I love pretzels. And these are by Benzel's rod pretzels i had never seen these in dollar tree before y'all and so i picked them up to give them a try um let me see what the expiration date is on here if i can find one but pretzels usually have a pretty good expiration date oh here it is july 
2023. Okay. So that's the expiration date. But I've never even heard of these pretzels before. Benzels? I'm going to have to look these up, y'all. Y'all know I will. So, yeah, just pick that up. Um, let me try to get through all of this food, y'all. Because it's a lot of food. And I may have some in this basket over here. But I took out everything from one basket. And then I have another basket right here. So, these are the corn chips that are so good, y'all. They taste just like Frito-Lay. They taste exactly like Frito-Lay. But like a fraction of the cost. And the expiration date is May 2023. And it's in a package like this. I bought these before, but when I bought them, they had they had already expired, and I didn't know that. So I just picked up another bag, y'all. It is uh 5.25 ounces. So it's pretty pretty decent sized bag for 125. So that goes. I saw these up. Um, I'm still on the hunt for the um, onion and garlic potato chips because I love onion and garlic potato chips. I like the honey barbecue and I like the um, sour cream and onion, but mm -mm, onion and garlic is my favorite. So, but they had these um, Carolina style barbecue chips. So I just picked it up. Expiration date is June 2023. And so that's the Carolina style barbecue. I don't know if I ever had Carolina style barbecue. I might try these for y'all. Let me put this over here. I might try these for y'all. If I don't forget y'all. I think I forgot to try something for y'all one time. I think I did. Um, I picked up these um, original snack size sticks of the Slim Jim. Y'all, I have never had a Slim Jim in my life, like ever. I was going to try these for you guys on camera to see if I liked them, but I bought these for my husband because he was asking me if the Dollar Tree sold them. And I was like, yeah, I see them in there. You know, they have the real long ones. And, um, but when I seen these, I said, oh, he might like these. So he could just put in a lunchbox and, um, yeah, just snack on them. So you get three original snack size sticks and yeah five grams of protein the expiration date is let me see y'all if i can find one um i don't see an expiration oh here we go i'm always quick to say that if i don't see one, i don't see an expiration date but it is july 13 2023 so, yeah, y'all. So, hopefully he'll like these. I'll let you know on my empties. Y'all know that I will. Okay. Then I saw this. I had never seen this in the Dollar Tree. I got this for my husband. This is called Star Snacks Party Peanuts Roasted and Salted. It is plant-based protein and gluten-free. And it's a value size. And the expiration date is June 1st, 2024. It's a pretty big size bag, y'all. I was shocked to see this in Dollar Tree. I've never seen this in Dollar Tree. So, I know my husband will get a kick out of those because he loves peanuts. I like cashews, walnuts, pecans. Yeah, like that. But just regular peanuts. I mean... If they're like, if we go to like a dinner party and there's peanuts out, I might grab like a, a tiny handful. But if it's not cashews, walnuts, or pecans, I probably won't, I probably won't get none. But yeah. So Star Snacks, I have to look this one up too, y'all. See if it is angry. I picked up two more bags of the Idahoan. Um, four cheese mashed potatoes because the uh roasted garlic ones they don't seem to be getting anymore so i would have to go to either walmart or i know one time i picked it up from big lots but i would have to go to walmart or either my local grocery store or either Publix or something like that so i just picked up two of these and the um 
Expiration date is November 5th of 2023. So these are really, really good. We just finished eating some of the butter ones because I just finished frying some pork chops and I made those mashed potatoes, put some little cheese on it, some green onions and a can of corn. It was so good, y'all. <laughs> it was good. Then I picked these up. I heard these are really, really good. I have got to give these a try. I think I bought some in the past, but I didn't get a chance to use them because I think my son used them or my daughter. Somebody used them. I didn't get a chance to use it. So, uh, but this is the Strawberry Lemonade by Weiler's Light Low Calorie Drink Mix. And the expiration date is November of 2024. So I just got two boxes of these because I want to try them. Calories is only five calories. So that's a good thing. I've heard some good things about this particular brand and this particular flavor. So that's why I picked it up. So I'm going to see for myself. And I picked up another little bag of um, the Balinas cookies. So the expiration date is July 30th, 2023. These are so good. They taste like the Pepperidge Farm. Um, is it the Milo cookies or Milano cookies or something like that? I'll, I'll put it right there, y'all. I always forget the name, but I used to buy those cookies all the time. But uh, these taste, these are really close uh, in comparison to those. These are really close. They come really close and they are so good. Oh my God, they're so good. I tried those for you all on camera. Um, I picked up another bag of my watermelon Yachty Pops, y'all. These are so good. I love snacking on these little things. Um, and I only take one. Like, if I'm editing late at night, I, I'm sucking on Lottie Pop, y'all. <laughs> yep, or watch a basketball. Oh, yeah. So, I love these. You get 40. No, you don't get 45. You get 15 pops, but they're only 45 calories for two. So, um, what's the expiration date on here? Um, January 2025. That's really good. That is really good. So, yeah, everybody in my house loves those lollipops. Um, I picked up this cute. These are some cute plates. Um, you get 16 plates. It says take a bite. I picked them up for my grandson because he likes baby shark. But this, I don't know if this is baby shark, but they're sharks. So I picked them up for him so he can eat his little snacks on or whatever. So I'm going to be mailing these to him along with these two characters. Arthur. I think I bought him one before. Um, I did buy him one before. Arthur, I don't know what's going on with Arthur's cheeks in his mouth, but he looks like he has, he looks like he got a tooth pull or something right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my Lord. Poor Arthur. And then, um, I forgot her name, but she's She's on that show as well. But I forgot her name. I forgot her name. And it doesn't say it on here. Nope, doesn't say it on here. But yeah, I just got my grandson both of these so he could just play with them. Um, let's see. I picked up another Martinelli's apple juice. So to make my mimosa mocktail, yep. So I haven't tried, I haven't tried it with this yet, but uh, how many ounces is this? 10 fluid ounces and expiration date is, probably won't be able to find it on here. Oh yes, I will. But it's, just, it, it's amazing how the expiration date, sometimes you don't see it, but it'd it be right there. But the way they have it, you know, stamped on here, this says January 7th. 2026. Wow. Yeah, y'all. So, yeah, I can't wait to um 
make that concoction, y'all. I picked up another traditional vanilla cake mix. Um, I usually use this cake mix when I cannot find the Duncan Hines Moist. That's my favorite one to use when I make my pistachio cake. Duncan Hines Moist White um, Cake Mix. But I have definitely used this in the past because either I couldn't find it or, yeah, either I couldn't find it or store it and have it. So I used this and it tastes the same. So I just picked up another one, y'all. Um, I picked up two more of these Island Punch Juices from uh, Tampico. These are so good. Ooh, these are so good. And my favorite part is that it's only 30 calories and only um, 6 grams of sugar. So, I love this. This juice is so good if you put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. Or you may just have to add ice to it if you want to drink it right away. But I like to chill mine first. And the expiration date is August 25th of 2023. So, that would say the same thing. Yeah. So... These are absolutely delicious, y'all. I love these. And they have the blue ones, too, but I like these the best. I think these taste better than the blue ones. Blue ones are good, though, but I like these the best. Okay, let's see. I picked up some more of these uh, silicone rings, mainly because they had that uh, camouflage one on there. So I thought that was neat. I know I have the real skinny ones that has pink and blue and and um and plus this is fit small size is seven and a half to eight so I wear a, I wear a seven uh either either finger I wear a seven so yeah I know these are name brands I think they're selling these for ten dollars I think something like that y'all I think I gave you all the price the last time I hauled it. I picked up these really pretty straws. There's 20 in a pack. And I just got them because the, of the colors. The colors are so nice and different. So I just pick that up. Uh, picked up a bag of pumpkin seeds, which I absolutely love pumpkin seeds. I used to buy them all the time from Dollar Tree, but I stopped because of the sodium inside of it, you know, the sodium count. But I was craving them, so these expired December 2nd of 2023. And um, yeah, pumpkin seeds, all natural. And these are by David. This is a name brand. They've been around since 1926. Yeah, I love, love, love pumpkin seeds. Love them. I also love this as well. These milk duds. Oh my God. I don't pick them up often, but every now and then I have a craving for them. And then when I see them in the Dollar Tree, I said, oh, I should get a box. And then I'll, they'll sit on top of my refrigerator. I usually put them up there so I don't, I don't see them. They're not in my sight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just grabbed like two and I like I just I just like that combination of the chocolate and the caramel. So good. So good. So I got a box of those. Um, I know I'm probably gonna run into some more of these. Some more of these. But since these are right here, I will these are the peaches, the sunny farm peaches and the mixed fruit which I always, always buy for my husband, y'all. If you've been um, subscribed for a while, you know I always buy these. For my hubby, for his lunch, you get three in a pack, and they're only 60 calories. And, but like I said, one has 14 grams of sugar, and one has 16 grams of sugar, and one is 70 calories, and one is 60 calories. So, yeah. That's the 70 calorie one. That's the 60 calorie one. So this one must be the mixed fruit. Okay. So, yep. Yeah. Then I saw these, y'all. I can't wait to put these outside. 
these are so pretty with that butterfly on the inside. I don't know how it's going to look when it's lit up, but I'm just assuming that it's going to be beautiful. And these are called uh, Sola Steak Lights. So I have the red butterfly. I have the red butterfly. I have the yellow butterfly. Oh my God, these are going to be beautiful. I have the green butterfly. And I have the blue butterfly. So I can't wait to line these up in my uh, walkway as you walk up to the door. I'm going to put two on each side. So I can't wait to put those outside um let's see i bought another uh nor i think it's nor creamy garlic shells i haven't used my other ones yet y'all but i just picked up another bag so yeah i i can't wait to taste these somebody said to add some um cream of mushroom with it and that it tastes really good so i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see i found these two um sun basics kids 50 sunscreen lotion i uh, picked that up for my grandson i'm gonna leave one here and i'm gonna send him one because i have two so and it's three fluid ounces and yeah for kids i thought that was pretty neat so, yeah, I'm leaving one here, and I'm going to send one to Mr. Braylon. Also, I picked up these Mickey Mouse, Disney Junior Mickey, Mickey Mouse bubbles. Uh, it's six fluid ounces. I just thought the container was so cute. So, that's for my grandson as well. So, that is, that's adorable. So that's getting mailed as well. This I found, it's called a floating water game. And um, I'm not going to take it out the package because I got this for my grandson as well. But when you press the button, you can just play the different games that's in there. So I'm sure he'll get a kick out of that. I'm sure he will get a kick out of that. And this is distributed by Greenbrier International. So... Even though it says classics games. Hmm. Classics games. Floating water game. So I'm sure he's going to love that. Uh, I picked up this really pretty. Um, it's called multi-purpose scarf. But I got it because of the colors. The colors were gorgeous. That yellow, that white, that teal, that black. So... I just picked that up by juncture. Put that over there. I found another pair of the K Bell socks. Um, it doesn't really say what this character is. It looks like a turkey. It looks like a turkey. Maybe an eagle, but these are men's. So, hmm. And it's from sizes 10 to 13. Wow. Made in China. Designed in Los Angeles. Mm. So I just picked these up. I don't know if my husband's going to wear them or not. Or my son. If not, I'll be wearing them. Yep, right in my nails. So I thought that was really neat. And that's the back. So these are like, yeah, these are men's crew socks. I need to look these up and see how much they cost. I think I just hauled some Bell socks and they were from Walmart had a pair for $14.99. And I was like, wow. Wow. Um, I picked this uh, by Crafter Square. I just picked it up because it had my initials. This has been out for a while. But um, I think I had one. I don't know what happened to it. So I bought another one. So, yeah, y'all, I just got that bead. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet because it's too small to go around there. So, 
I'll find some way to put it. Just thought it was neat. Um, picked up this really cute headband. It's pink, like satin and iridescent at the same time. It's really pretty. Really pretty. So I just picked that one up. picked up these uh, rubber bands by Jot. You get 50 of them in here. And it's like, I love the colors. I don't think I've seen rubber bands this color. Maybe it, was, it came in for Easter or something like that. Because you got teal. You got like a taupe beige. You got light pink, a dark pink. I love it. Any other colors in there? No, but you get 50. So, yeah, y'all. I'm a Loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, let's see. I believe I hauled this before. Um, this lipstick, um, the number is 704. I think I just wanted to get another one. What does the color say? I don't know, y'all. Let me see. If we can get it open. to get this open well they be packaging things really well yeah I think I bought this before is this by it doesn't have a name but um oh okay it's like it's that color right there probably won't show up on my skin though yeah it barely barely okay it shows up a little bit okay so yeah i picked up that one so i'm gonna give that a try i also picked up some um baby love petroleum jelly picked that up how many ounces is that 3.53 the expiration date is uh, February of 2025. So I just picked that one up. And then I saw this, y'all. I just picked it up. I don't even know what I'm using for, but this is the Elmer's Disappearing Purple Spray Adhesive. So I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. Maybe to, um, and I see the top has come off of this one. It's probably one of these bags, y'all. Um, yeah, let me see what it says it's used for. Oh, it's a permanent bond, multi-purpose, and it dries clear. Maybe I got this for, I don't know what I got this for. But some type of project, I know that. <laughs> so I have two of them. I have two of those. Like I said, the cap must be in the bag somewhere. So... I have those two. Put that over there. And then I picked up two of the uh, Sassy and Chic Gel Nail Soap Caps. I got two packs, y'all. I got two packs. Because eventually I'm going to be soaking off this gel nail polish and using the nails I got from Timu and Dollar Tree. And so, yeah, those are really nice. Those are really nice. So I got two packs of those. Picked up another menstrual heat patch. Picked up another one of those. Soothes and relieves. Direct, no, discreet heat therapy. And you get one patch. Hmm, okay. Dollar Tree's coming up with all kind of stuff, y'all. <laughs> all kind of stuff that's my sunflower seeds i picked this up for my son to try because i'm not going to try these it's called 12 flavor mini gummy worms and it's um albanese so i just picked that up for my son see if he like it or if he's go if he's going to eat it if not i'll be giving it to somebody my daughter son-in-law somebody yeah, just pick that up. Put that over there. And then you all... Let me make 
some of this stuff out the way. Y'all, let me get something to drink. Mm. This water is tasting good today. Really good. Now, I saw this in the Dollar Tree. I have been on the hunt ever since I saw it, you all. I cannot find it at any Dollar Tree that I've gone to. And they only had this one pack. And it's called the Ombre Cutlery Set. It's clear and then it fades into purple, y'all. Do y'all see that? Clear and then it fades into purple. I thought that was so pretty. And I'm, like, I'm glad you got four knives, four forks, and four spoons. So it's 12. A 12 piece set so it's enough for us us three so i i'm still looking for them but i have not seen them but they are so pretty i'm like wow that is so neat let me see um oh i thought it was just like a fold over open let me see is it because i wanted to take one out okay good so, I'm going to take out this spoon. Just so I can get a closer look at what it looks like. Oh, wow. Those are neat. Those are really neat, y'all. From clear, and then it fades into purple. I wish they had more colors. That is so pretty. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they came and then they just went. But I have not seen them anymore. Okay, starting with the next basket, y'all. Picked up this cute little t-shirt um, for my grandson. It says extra small. So, I'll probably leave this over here. I don't know. No. No, I'll probably send this to him. Because, um... It might be too small by the time he comes back to my house. So, yeah, you all. I picked that up for Mr. Braylon. I saw these. Um, They're called GRX Cut Series Cut Resistance Durable Dip Coated Palm. Palm, I mean. And, um, yeah. I know these are name brand because they had these at the front register, y'all. Really nice gloves. Like, really nice gloves. You know, for you to do, like, a lot of whatever you're trying to do. I don't think you can wash dishes with this, no. But if you're working in the yard or if you're using, like, chemicals or stuff like that, this will probably protect your hands really, really well. Like I said, this is definitely name brand. Um, and it's a size large or men's large. So I actually picked these up for my husband. Don't know if he's going to use them or not. Then, um, let me see if I have any more of those, y'all. This is my last basket, so I am happy about that. Yeah, like I knew. I knew I had some more of these, y'all. Which is these... Um, Sunny Farm, the peaches, and the mixed fruit. So I have two more peaches and a mixed fruit. Yeah, two more peaches and a mixed fruit. So I'm definitely going to be putting these in the refrigerator. Let me leave this right here. As soon as I get off camera and stock my husband back up. I bought these in the past. I wanted to re-up on these. These are so good. And it's called um, Harry and David's Moose Munch Premium Popcorn. Oh my God, these are so, so good. Classic Caramel. These are delicious. And the expiration date is November 28, 2023. So, I definitely killed my other bag. So, I had to get me another bag. I picked up the Olive Garden Italian signature italian dressing you get three single serving cups i love italian dressing and i love all olive garden's brand it's so good 
Whenever I go to Olive Garden, I get the breadsticks. I always ask for extra salad dressing because I stick my breadsticks in the salad dressing. If you've never done that, the next time you go to Olive Garden, try it. Try it. My daughter and my son, they order the Alfredo sauce on the side, but I always just get extra salad dressing. It's no charge and it's delicious, y'all. So yeah, just got three of those. Let me see what the expiration date is. It is July, 2023. July, 2023. So I picked up a box of those. Um, okay, y'all, I have one more <laughs> of the mixed berries. I have one more of the mixed berries, so. Because I think I bought a total of six. I think I bought a total of six. So, I also picked up four boxes of the chicken salad by uh, Brunswick. My husband loves this stuff. Um, I haven't tried it yet, y'all. But I need to. I need to try the chicken salad. I've tried the tuna fish. Tuna fish is really good. But uh, yeah, I have four boxes. And um, he likes to take these for lunch um, whenever he is in a rush and don't have a lot of time to eat lunch. So, yeah, he likes these. So, I got four of those. I found some Schneider's Butter Snap um, Pretzels. Oh, these are my favorite. Oh, my God. These are my favorite. These cost like $3 and change in the grocery store, y'all. And the expiration date is July 1st, 2023. So, and they had boxes and boxes of the butter ones and I think the plain ones. But I love the butter ones. So, oh my God, I love the butter ones. I love the butter ones. And you all, I picked up some more of the... um pineapple tibbets the expiration date is january 20th 2024 like i was telling you guys i picked up a lot of food this time a lot of food this time so uh, do i have that upside down i do so yeah y'all i picked up wait a minute now okay yeah i don't know why it looks upside down in the camera but it's not okay so i have two of these we like to put these in the refrigerator chill them use them for snacks yeah, those are good. I picked up two more of the uh, Pure Leaf Sweet Tea and Raspberry Tea. Got two more of those. I love Pure Life, but I love Sweet Tea, y'all. I'm a Sweet Tea, just call me the Sweet Tea Bandit because wherever I go, I'm going to get some Sweet Tea. <laughs> and I can tell if it's disgusting because sometimes I go to a restaurant, I ask for Sweet Tea. They give it to me. I take one sip. I'll be like, mm -mm. this is old because I make fresh sweet tea all the time. So I know how it's supposed to taste. So, but uh, yeah, I like the pure leaf. I love the pure leaf. Then y'all, I found these uh, soaps. I thought I bought some other flavors, not flavors, <gasps> scents. And I may come across it. It's by the Delta Home Hand Soap. I mean, it's by Delta Home, and it's Rosemary Mint. I was like, Rosemary Mint? Ooh. So, I think I bought Delta Home, the bigger, the bigger ones. I think I just hauled those. Let me smell this, because I did not smell it in the store. Let me see. Oh, yeah, this smells good. Very, very minty, though. Very minty. But it smells good, though. These will probably go in my guest bathrooms. Yeah. So, yeah, y'all just got those two. Rosemary Mint. This is a big one. It says 16 fluid ounces. So, that's a lot of soap. Packaging is cute. So, yes, please. Uh, let's see. Another big bag over here. Ooh. Jeez. Let me see what else I have over here. I think it's just three more 
backwards. And that's it. Okay. Now, let's see, y'all. Oh, yeah. I forgot I bought that. So. Okay, y'all. I picked up some more socks for my grandson. Some more Sesame Street socks for Braylon. These are sizes one through seven, but I think he only wears like a, a ten and a half. So he'll grow into those, y'all. <laughs> he'll grow into those. Then I found um, some more NYX lipstick. This one is, um, I think this one is called Anytime. Let me see. I think this one is, this one says Anytime. Let me see. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's why I put my glasses on, y'all. This says Envy. Okay. And the number is WIL12. But the color, let me see, look at the color of this one while I have my glasses on. This one is Frosted Red. Okay. So, but this one, y'all, that blue, what? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. And then this one is frosted red. So this one has like some shimmer in it. This one has some shimmer in it. So mm, I can't wait to try those out. I found some Bisquick. This just says the original purpose baking mix. I'm still looking for the one that has the biscuits on the front of it, y'all. But it says you can make the drop biscuits right here. So that's probably why I picked this up. So we should be good with this one. Should be good with this one. To go with that Alica syrup, y'all. We have been enjoying that Alica syrup. I mean, man. I'm so glad we got it for that price. The expiration date on this is... Um, uh, I don't even see it. I'm not sure, y'all, but, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let me see. Looks like it says June 2023. So, yep, just got that. This was new in the Dollar Tree. It's, it says in, Innos, Innos, Trusted for Generations. It says Trap and Kill spider and insect trap um this is for spiders silverfish crickets scorpions and other crawling insects but i got it for spiders y'all because i hate spiders i don't want to see them anywhere and i think this is going on my patio <laughs> or no i got this for the garage yes i got this for the garage so, I, I don't know if this is a name brand or not, but I picked one up. I only picked up one. So, and it's showing that you have to do it like that, and then the spiders go in there. Ooh, creepy. I don't like spiders at all, y'all, at all. I picked up some more dryer balls by Laundry Essentials. You get two balls. I got some gray ones. But, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Have you ever had plantar fasciitis on your foot? Um, I've had that in the past, and I've had it recently. I think my son is dealing with that now because his foot has been really giving him a, tr a lot of trouble. They try to tell you to roll your, your foot on a tennis ball. I mean, you can do that if you want. But when I tell you this under your foot, rolling your foot, across it oh my god it took my pain away like just about immediately almost immediately like the next day i wasn't feeling any pain but i kept doing it like every day every day for like a week and so far i haven't had any trouble out of that foot anymore so i don't know i don't know if it works for anybody else but it surely works for me and uh, I just picked up this cup. It says every day is, is a fresh start. So it's pretty big. 
don't know how many ounces it is, but it's pretty big, y'all. So I just picked up that cup. Um, I also picked up this one uh, foliage to tear apart and put inside those little hanging light bulbs that have the opening where you can put all this like succulent stuff in that I just hauled. So I just got one so I can, you know, tear it off and stick them in. I think I have a total of two. And then I have a round, a round bulb looking one. So, so that's what, two, four. So I have six. So it worked out perfectly. So I have three and two is going in each one. So that's why I picked it up, y'all. That's why I picked it up. Ah, uh, let's see. I got this for my grandson. This is called Just Pretending Learn, Grow, Play. And it's a doctor's kit. And it's so cute. Dollar Tree has the cutest toys, y'all. And you get the you get the uh stethoscope, you get the um reflex little hammer thing, you get the um looks like a needle. You get all these things on here, y'all. This is what you get. So I just thought it was so neat to give that to Mr. Braylon once again. So yeah, I thought I had another one. So I have another one, y'all. I have the warm vanilla. And the warm vanilla ones were all messy. Like, all messy. Did I get another one of that one? They were like, all messy. Oof. So, but I bought it, y'all. But... I said I'll just come home and clean that top because all of them look like that. But um, yeah, they all look like this. But I was like, warm vanilla? Let me smell it. I didn't even touch it in the store, y'all. But let me let me try to open it now. I don't know why it's um seem like it's leaking all over the place. Oh, this one smells good. Ooh, this one smells good. Okay. Okay. And it feels like, it feels like, um, what do you call that? Um, sugar scrub. That's what it feels like around the cap. Because I think maybe some of it has dried out. I don't know, y'all, but I'm going to wash it really good. And yeah, but it smells good. Good, good. Ugh, let me write that off. Um, I found, I went and got another purple one, y'all, because I like the purple one. This is the NYX purple. I already uh, hauled this one before, but I said I had to find another purple one, so I did. And then this one says, um, eyes, irresistible. That's what it's called, irresistible. And it's in blue. And I think it's a liner. It's by Ardell. It's by Ardell. And uh, yes, yeah, eyeliner pencil. So that's the color blue. So, and that's the name. So I just got one of those. Picked up another um, two of the Multi Bites by Goldie by goalie so yeah y'all these are so expensive um like i was telling you guys it's like 15 dollars in walmart Woo. and i also picked up these honey roasted peanuts for my husband this is seven and a half ounces so this was new in my dollar tree so i just picked that up who was it by island Island Choice. Does it say Island Choice? Yes, Island Choice. So, the honey roasted peanuts. Now, I will eat honey roasted peanuts because they have sweetness to them. So, I like those. Not as much as my husband, but yeah, I will eat them though from time to time. Okay, y'all. And I got this. Um, this is a repurchase for me the Crazy Go Nuts. I got them in maple and it says all natural walnuts. 
So these are so good. You don't get a lot in here, but they're so good. So good, so good, so good. So let me see what else is in here. Then I found two of the uh, Sugarfoot files. Um, I got one in purple and one in teal. I love the teal one, y'all. These are so pretty. So I got purple and teal. So I got picked that up. Um, let me see. Do I have another one of those? No. And I also picked up a uh, cool scent in cherry uh, for the garage. So I like putting these in the garage. Really, 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 really good. And these are my last three things. Okay, cool. So I saw these body washes. They say um, quiet raw body wash. This is in lavender. I'm not too fond of lavender, y'all, but these were new in the Dollar Tree, so I picked them up, y'all, but I'm going to smell them right now. Let's see. But this one smells good. Oh, my God, and I don't like lavender, but oh, my God. This smells really, really good. I have to look this up and see if this is name brand, y'all. Quiet Roar. These are 16 fluid ounces. And it says body wash, lavender, and what's that say? Spirulina scent. Wow. It just says lather, relax, and rinse on the back. So, lather, relax, and rinse. Makes me think that this may lather well, but I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see. So I bought two of the lavender ones. I know there's two other scents out there, and I'll probably get my hands on those as well in another Dollar Tree haul, y'all. And then the last thing I got was this really cute um noodles sketchbook. I just loved it. It's by Crown Jewels. And Crown Jewels is a woman-owned company. And uh, I just got it because it says, you're my main squeeze. And it had the Chinese uh, takeout box and the fortune cookie with the chopsticks. I just love that, y'all. I'm going to open it up. My husband and I, we love Chinese food. So, so it's just plain paper. It's just plain paper, y'all. But for me to jot things down, but I just love it. I love, I love the way it looks. So, y'all, that was everything. Let me try these Carolina-style barbecue potato chips, y'all. I want to go eat one, see how they taste. Oof. I smell a lot of vinegar, y'all. I smell vinegar. But we'll see how they taste. That's how they look. Let's see how it tastes. I said I'm probably going to take one, but I might take two. Mmm. I definitely taste vinegar, y'all. Mmm. But it's good. Mmm. Nope. Uts Carolina style barbecue. These are really good. Hmm. I really like these. Let me get something to drink, y'all. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything, y'all. I think that was it. Uh, mm hmm. So, you all, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Continue to enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Go and be kind to someone. Continue to live your best, blessed life. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.